welcome back to my channel, it's that girl G, and as you may see, I have now an introduction, I hope you liked it. Without further ado, let's get started on this study tips video. The reason why I wanted to do this is because, well, studying is one of the things that I like doing. You know, I like learning, so you know, studying kind of comes with it. I also did the IB a couple of years ago, oh wait, no. <laughs> I'm 20 now. <laughs> that was not a couple of years ago, that was four years ago. Damn. I started it four years ago, I finished it a couple of years ago. And I know the IB is particularly difficult, but I also to add on top of that because I thought why not, it can't be that difficult, <laughs> silly naive me. Um, the place where I did it, I had to do the IB and the Spanish Bachelorette program at the same time. That was fun, but I survived that. got a decent grade. I got a 34 out of 45, which is not like top class grade. It's not those 44 or 45 out of 45 you see sometimes, which mad respect to these people. I don't know how they did it. Literally, that's magic to me. But I'm still very proud of my grade because I worked really hard for it. So I just wanted to share a bit of my process of studying, getting organized and getting my head in the game. For everyone who's studying uni this year or who's coming back to third or fourth year and they're like, oh god, I need to focus on my stuff now because it's important. First of all is that studying is very individual. What works for you might not work for others and vice versa. Second thing that I want to touch on is motivation is key. You need to have a goal. I feel like you need to have a goal in order to properly study and get what you want, obviously. Because if you just if you're just studying because you need to, or because your teacher told you so, it gets boring, it gets insufferable, and honestly, it's not fun at all. Although many people will argue with me on this that studying is never fun. Keep motivating yourself either by short-term goals or long-term goals, whatever works best for you. The last thing I want to talk about before getting to the study tips is managing your expectations. So if you know that the subject just isn't working for you, maybe it's because of the teachers, just the subject itself or whatever, don't try to get the best grade possible. Just set a goal that you think is achievable and don't worry too much about it. If you really don't think that you can do well at that subject, that's okay, don't beat up yourself for it. Try to focus on the other subjects and, you know, make up for it. But do not be hard on yourself, manage your expectations, if you can't get 10 and everything, as long as you're trying your best, that's what matters to be honest. 